month ago in Wisconsin. The 25-year-old was in court for a hearing when she attacked her defense attorney as he was sitting next to her. A court officer pulled her to the ground, but the defendant made it difficult for him to restrain her. We're in the courtroom. Shabiznis is still undergoing evaluations by mental health professionals to determine if she's competent to stand. What up, YouTube? It's your girl, TT Chanel, and it is reaction video time. First and foremost, I want to say rest in peace to the victim. Now, you just seen a clip of some crazy lady bugging out on her lawyer. When I first seen the video, I'm like, yo, she must have the worst lawyer in the world. So I had to do my research and I came up on, you know, some interesting things as far as, you know, what she's even being charged for. Now, I'm going to let this clip play and we're going to get into the to the details of this gruesome crime. Man, I don't know what's going on with certain Wisconsin people, but I'm starting to think something ain't right up there. I don't know. I remember Charlemagne from Breakfast Club. He'd be like the craziest people come from Florida and the Bronx. I'm starting to think we got to add Wisconsin on there. No cap. Let's get into this clip. Hit that subscribe button. We on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Hope you feeling good. Hope you feeling great. Let's go. Year old woman from Green Bay is currently jailed on three charges, including first degree murder. Details released today are deeply disturbing, including how the victim's mother discovered her son. Fox 11's Nick Harrington brings us the very latest. You're looking at a home on Stony Brook Lane on the west side of Green Bay, the scene where a murder occurred on February 23rd. On Tuesday, Taylor Shabusiness business appeared in Brown County Court via Zoom, locked behind. Yo, not for nothing. At first, I thought her name was a joke. Like, I thought they was being funny. Like, I never heard of a person with the last name Shabusiness. Drop a comment if you ever heard of that. I ain't gonna lie. That, that kind of threw me off. I'm like, Shabusiness? What the? Anyway door. The 24-year-old is charged with first-degree homicide, mutilating a corpse, and third-degree sexual assault. The facts alleged are extremely concerning and disturbing and go to the, the violent nature and, and the grave nature of the offense. Disturbing on multiple fronts. According to the criminal complaint, Shabusiness and the victim were both high on drugs, the victim dying due to strangulation. High on drugs? What kind of drugs? You know what I'm saying? All my cannabis lovers, we want to know what kind of drugs. Even though I don't care what nobody say. Cannabis is not a drug. Court records show she watched as he coughed up blood waiting for him to die. Later saying, quote, yeah, I liked it. Shabusiness allegedly removed the victim's head from his body, placing it inside of a bucket, then draping a blanket over it. With her... What in the Jeffrey Dahmer? We're going to bring that back because I, what in the world? And then she said she liked it? What the hell? Later saying, quote, yeah, I liked it. Shabusiness allegedly removed the victim's head from his body. You see what I'm talking about? You see? That's just too crazy. Not to, I mean, this shit happens. I don't know. I don't know. Wisconsin got some explaining to do placing it inside of a bucket, then draping a blanket over it. With horrific details emerging on Tuesday from last week's murder, it somehow keeps getting even more gruesome as the victim's mother was the one to discover the severed head. The criminal complaint shows the victim's mother was awakened between 2.30 and 3 in the morning on February 23rd from a door being slammed. Thinking should business had left, the mother went into the basement and as she, she killed this nigga at his house she did yo that is beyond that is beyond me i'm thinking she did it at her house what nah that's crazy she was walking up the stairs she noticed the bucket after removing the blanket she saw the victim's head shabusiness allegedly told police all the body parts should be in the basement but a foot or leg should be in a minivan she is scheduled to next appear in courts on March 22nd while being held on an incredibly high bond. Yo, I'm going to put her picture right there, right? That's her right there. Let me tell y'all right now. You can't trust nobody, no matter how pretty they look, no matter how handsome they are. These oh, people are crazy. Now I see what young boy was talking about when he was like, he terrified of people like, yo, look at this lady. She does not look like... What the, they're saying that she don't even look like she's capable of it. She looks like a freaking sweetheart. What the hell? I think that given all these 
circumstances and, and factors that $2 million cash fund is appropriate. I'll also order the defendant not to have any contact with the uh, victim's uh, family. She's smiling.